Here's what you need to know about the Climb Storm Park. For the 2014-2015 riding season, there's going to be a brand new style to the Storm Parka. In fact, the previous version has been discontinued, so you will actually find it difficult to get your hands on that one, but I don't think you're going to even want that once you take a look at what they have to offer with this one. First of all, the styling is completely different. It's more of a casual look. You're going to look great on and off your snowmobile with this, and they introduced a bunch of new color patterns. I have in front of me here the gray and red. Now with the construction of the jacket, you're going to have a 500D Kondura underlays, which is very solid material, going to make it durable and stand the test of time. Besides that, you're going to have the standard Gore-Tex that you'll find in all other climb jackets to make it 100% waterproof and windproof. So when it comes to size, you're going to want to go over to the product page and check out the sizing chart. It is American sizes. It's very accurate. But just for point of reference, we do have MC Hammer here beside me, 6'4". He's wearing the extra large in this jacket. And it fits him really well. He can fit into a large. It's really a, a size. It's really a question of what you feel fits better, but this is the extra large. Part of the non-insulated line of jackets from Klein. So on those colder days, you probably will want to layer up. And then depending on how aggressive and how much heat your body's generating, you can take some layers off to suit your needs. Now, when it comes to non-insulated jackets, this is right up there as one of the top of the line jackets. The only thing above this, if you are going to be really aggressive and need top of the line, is going to be the Valdez, which is going to introduce a little bit more of the comfort mapping technology, as well as the Pro Shell, which is going to make it very durable if you're going to be whacking against a few trees when you're out there on your snowmobile. But for most riding scenarios, this jacket is going to be exactly what you need. Alright, so now let's dive into the jacket and take a little bit of a closer look at some of those unique features that make this guy stand out. Okay, we'll start with the front and the most common aspects, just the pocketing systems. So you're going to have the standard two pockets down here by the waist area, which are going to be pretty large. And then we're also going to have two chest pockets. Now if we look at the zippering to all these pockets as, long, as well as the ventilation, you'll see that they are 100% waterproof. You're not going to have to worry about any water seeping through those zipper areas getting you drenched. Now when we're on the top of the zippers, these are YKK zippers. They're extremely large, easy to grab onto with your gloves. And that's going to include the zippers that go on the ventilation system. So we're going to have six ventilation ports to this jacket. We have on the chest area on both sides. And then we have under the armpit ventilation. And in the 2014-15 version of the jacket that I have here, they actually redid this mesh interior, interior so you're not going to get any snow seeping through there making you wet. And it does a great job of that as well. And then the final ventilation to this jacket is going to be flipped over on the backhand side. And you can see these large ventilation ports right on your back. Now they do use 3M scotch light in this jacket, there's not very much of it. There's going to be some here on the collar right by the adjustable strap for your helmet. And there'll be a little bit on the arms as well around the elbow area. So I'll flip this guy back over to the front. And just before I open him up for you, I'll just show you the cuff area. So there's a little bit more of that scotch light there. And we can unvelcro this and you'll see that we have the inner gaiter here for your gloves. Down at the bottom we have the D-link that you'll find on most jackets by Klein. And this guy. So again this is a non-insulated jacket. So it's very thin lightweight. You're going to have this powder strap on it which will come in handy as primarily use will be for that backcountry off-trail type riding. Going to the side of the jacket we have pockets on both sides. Over the left hand side we'll have a special area for your phone where you can put your earbuds through and then clip it up to this elastic band at the top so they're not going to be hanging down in front of you. Last but not least before we wrap this up you're going to find that there's a nice coating at the top so it's not going to rub against your neck and be uncomfortable and that also loops over the zipper area right here so you're not going to have to worry about the zipper flipping in your face as you're riding. And in terms of everything else for the jacket, it's pretty much as you see, very nice sleek jacket from Klein. That's everything you need to know about the 2014-15 version of the Climb Storm non-insulated jacket.